You had to put him down. Only head kicks. Combinations. Way to set up those head kicks, man. They were landing at will. Let's work on our three punch combinations now. Great combination. Keep that up. Put the pressure on him. Keep moving. Nope. You got a block. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Here we go. Three hits. Let's go. more strikes or he's gonna see that kick coming. Good combo. Come on, post up and sweep your leg out. There's nowhere for him to go. Nice combo. You gotta hold him down. You're winning every minute in that position. I wanna see more out of you! There we go, make him pay there. Don't get hit. Keep moving and avoid strikes. Work! throw combos like that. Move your feet, move your head, you're getting hit. More combos. 
combos. You're giving him too much space. Don't expend so much energy just to have him stand back up. Do more damage! That's it! Knockdown's coming! Don't allow him to regain position. Job. All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction 
as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards this cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go in. You ready? You ready? You ready? Let's go Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, here is round one of this UFC heavyweight championship fight. The baddest man on the planet. There he is. In the flesh, he has defended this title in the past, and despite the fact that this has been a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, not since this man has held it down. We'll see if he can keep his championship legacy going here tonight. Hunt gets caught with that punch. Show your thoughts on what we might see here. Mark Hunt is one of the best strikers the heavyweight division has ever known, and he is particularly fond of the overhand right. Hunt with a bomb of an overhand right. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection, it's blocked. Kick to the body, he's hurt. He got nailed in the body, he is in big trouble here. right into that uppercut, left the head wide open, and I'm not sure how many more of those, Joe, he's gonna be able to take. Let's see if he gets the hands up, tries to circle out, and get that head off the center line. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, solid jab. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Right hand over the top. Under two minutes in the first round. Kick lands for him there. to the head there by Hunt. And he doesn't get it. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. Oh, heavy leg kick. Oh! 45 seconds to go here in round one. You don't want to catch one of those up kicks on the way in. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh! And there's a single attempt. First takedown attempt is there. Let's take a look here. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again.
And let's take a look at that from a different camera. wondering what's what's the opponent going to be able to do to him not even whether or not he's going to win but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him trying to stay out of that clinch joe once again he's able to do so while the coaches at dutch strike team really have never been more excited about a prospect than they are for this guy and i think the open workout joe is very telling not just the hand speed but the footwork, the movement, on a completely different level than it was six or eight months ago. So as he makes the walk here tonight... And He's going for a choke here. He's securing the arm, clamps it down. He's got to get that leg free. He popped out of the arm triangle. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's mounted him. Might be trying to set up an arm bar here, Joe. He's in full mount here, and he's looking for the arm bar. What he wants to do is, first thing he wants to do is secure the arm, tie it up. Then he wants to scoot his hips forward, rotate the hips, throw his leg across his opponent's face, then sit back, and his arm is out. Looking for a guillotine. He's got the guillotine locked in tight. That choke is deep. And he got free. That was close. Half guard. He's going for the rear naked choke here. Now he's got it. He opens it up, pulls him onto his back, goes palm to palm here. It looks like he's got that rear naked choke locked in and tight. Now it's deeper. That rear naked choke is getting tighter and tighter. He may have to tap any second, and he gets out. Wow, that was a deep choke. He's in full guard here. That choke is locked up. Here we see some beautiful technique executing this submission, but doesn't quite pull it off. And there's another excellent attempt at the submission, but can't quite finish it. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, strong uppercut forward there. That'll get his attention. Good one, too. Oh, nice. Oh! Effective strike there by Hunt. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Oh, 
finds his range with the jab. Now he goes for the single leg. Oh, and down. Oh, going for a choke here, Joe. This could be dangerous. He's looking for the arm triangle here. What he wants to do is secure the arm, then move into side control and rotate his body towards his opponent's head to apply pressure to get the tap. This choke is getting tighter and tighter. He may have to tap. Oh, oh submission it. defense there. Mount. Looks like he's going for a choke. He's got it locked up. To get out of that choke. Once again, working on a choke. He's got the choke. Get in here. Look at this. And he gets out. That was a close guillotine. Half guard. Well, he's got some of the best chokes in the game. He's going for one now. Looks like he's got the guillotine locked in tight. That choke is deep. And he gets his neck free. Wow, that was a close choke. Half guard here. And full guard here. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. The game plan couldn't be coming together more perfectly. I want you to keep that up now. His aggression is working on getting... All right, let's check out some of the action from that round. Here we see some beautiful technique executing this submission, but doesn't quite pull it off. And here is one more submission attempt. It looked very tight, but couldn't quite get it. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal of these two fighters figures to be tested beginning right now. Fourth round is underway. That means we have arrived at the championship rounds, and this is when the elite fighters, Joe, really separate themselves from the pack, from others in that top 15. Who wants it? Let's see. Beautiful right hand over the top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Hook to the head there by Hunt. Nice job to avoid the clinch. Oh, landed it. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. minutes and he's gonna try to take the back he's got his back here he's trying to get that choke in looks like he's got it now he rolls on he's got it under the chin now he's trying to go palm to palm Switches to the body triangle to tighten down on his opponent's abdomen, then switches to the full rear naked choke. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Big looping right hand there. He got tagged with that uppercut. Landed that left hook. 
Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, effective use of the jab by Hunt. Slips the punch. High kick, very nice high kick. Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot, Joe, and he paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the guard high, but that means the body is exposed, and the opposition took full advantage there. Who's he grabbing choke? He's got that choke locked in nice. Shake yourself up. I need you to stand off that stool, ready to go out there and win. You're big. Let's take a look at it again here. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. Let's see it one more time. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. for the knockout. Oh, that was a no-doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force, beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at eight seconds of round number five. He's going to win by knockout and still. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.